The Gumbau Kundruk Paracuta Forest is located between the Turumbri Weir and the twin towns of Barham and Kundruk. It is one of six icon sites in the Murray-Darling Basin Authority's Living Murray program and has been identified for its environmental importance to the health of the Murray River. The Living Murray is a joint initiative funded by the New South Wales, Victorian, South Australian, Australian Capital Territory and the Commonwealth Governments. The Gumbau Kundruk Paracuta Icon site covers an area of approximately 50,000 hectares and is Australia's second largest river red gum forest. The forest is home to over 360 species of native flora and fauna and is listed as a wetland of international importance under the Ramsar Wetland Convention. The forests have strong social and cultural meaning for the local communities and the indigenous groups of the region and have long been regarded as a valuable natural resource. They contain significant environmental, cultural and heritage values together with providing unique recreation opportunities. The Kundruk Paracuta Forest in New South Wales covers about 32,000 hectares of the Icon site. River red gums dominate the forest accounting for approximately 80% of tree species with the remainder a mix of black box and grey box. The Kundruk Paracuta Forest naturally flooded on a frequent basis, sometimes yearly. The ecology of the system is dependent on this regular flooding. Since river regulation the occurrence of these natural events has been decreasing. Now exacerbated by the recent drought period, the forest ecosystem is under severe stress. The last significant flood event occurred in 1993. When the flood waters do come, they make their way through the forest, filling dry lagoons and creek beds and bringing the forest to life. The area becomes a huge breeding ground for multitudes of colonial water birds and other native fauna. Evidence of indigenous and early European occupation is found throughout the forest. Cattlemen, charcoal burners, apiarists and timber cutters all lived and worked in and around the forest. Old cattle yards, abandoned charcoal furnaces and river barges are historical reminders that the forest has played a significant role within the community for many years. Recreational users, indigenous groups and local timber industries continue that link with the forest. Today, without water, the scene is very different. The forest is severely stressed and very little ground cover or understory exists to provide habitat and feed for wildlife. Exotic weeds such as Patterson's Curse and Whorehound have invaded many areas. River regulation and water extraction has reduced the incidence of natural flooding and years of drought have worsened the problem. Climate change predictions also suggest a diminishing annual rainfall. Flood events that occurred on average one year in four might now only take place once every 25 years. This would have a devastating effect on an already stressed forest. At the upstream end of the forest, the Turumbri Weir holds the water level of the Murray River consistently 50 to 70 centimetres below the natural surface of the forest. A cutting will be constructed into the forest from a point above the weir connecting into Bullock Head Creek. This cutting will be 3.8 kilometres in length and will be able to deliver up to 6,000 megalitres of water a day into the forest. 
There will be a regulator at the head of the cutting to control inflows and a bridge constructed at the junction with River Road. The cutting is designed to dissipate the flow out onto the forest floodplain over its length, thereby reducing the impact of a major flow into Bullock Head Creek. Swan Lagoon is the main natural fill point for the forest. In a high river, flood waters enter the lagoon and disperse into the forest through two major creeks. To prevent water supply through the Turumbury cutting short circuiting back into the River Murray, regulators will be constructed at the two entrances to the lagoon. Thule Creek exits the forest to the north at the midway point. A regulator constructed here will keep water inside the forest while providing the flexibility of some flows into the creek and through to the Wakul River. When available, these escape flows will provide valuable environmental water into this adjacent system. A return channel into the Murray River will be constructed adjacent to Crooked Creek, approximately 60 kilometres upstream from Barham. This channel will help provide water savings by the direct return of flows back into the river. It will also provide an outflow or spillway system to protect downstream structures. A regulator will be constructed in the channel to provide maximum management flexibility. A floodway or shallow clearing slightly north of this channel will assist in the drawdown of the inundated area and improve the volume of water that can be returned directly to the Murray. A new levee around the downstream perimeter of the Kundruk forest will provide landholders adjacent to Barbers Creek some security against flooding during watering events. This bank will replace existing privately owned structures ensuring consistency in construction design and bank integrity. The levee will be approximately 50 kilometres long, 4 metres wide at the crest and an average of 1.5 metres in height. This levee will also form part of the Barham Township's existing flood mitigation system. The final levee location has reflected input from both local government and the adjacent community. Three major creeks form the natural downstream outflow points for the Kundruk Paracuta forests. They are the Calf, the Cow and the Barber. These creeks are significant in size and are crossed while travelling on the Mulamine Road just north of Barham. Regulators will be installed along the levee in each of these creeks to manage the drawdown of watering events. These regulators will control the inundation level, the duration of the event and the drainage time. The majority of flows exiting forests through these regulators will find their way into the Barber Creek system, which in turn outfalls into the Wakul River and eventually back into the Murray. The construction of these works will enable an area of up to 17,000 hectares to be watered, requiring only a fraction of the volume that would otherwise be required to deliver a natural flood. An operation period of approximately 100 days is proposed to provide the optimum conditions for growth and regeneration of the forest and breeding conditions for waterbirds and other native fauna. The scheme has been designed to enable maximum operational flexibility. 
Managers can readily tailor environmental flows to specific environmental objectives by varying both the volume and duration of flows into the forest. This project is a $55 million commitment through the Commonwealth and state funded The Living Murray Program and ensures a sustainable and viable future of the Kundruk Paracuta Forest. It will provide short term employment opportunities for local people and major long term future benefits for the region. The result of this development will be a healthy, sustainable forest ecosystem supporting a diverse range of wetland flora and fauna and the long term environmental.